After building the frame, the set axis assembly and the heated bed, today we are going to tackle the most requested thing in this channel's comment section, down below. I'm legally required to say down below after saying comments. And what's Corex Y? It's a kinematic system mostly for 3D printers where the motors are stationary, which makes the gantry and the carriage lighter, improving print speed and print quality. To be honest, my brain wasn't getting it either, so I made this. This is a functional prototype of a Corex Y kinematic system, where this plank of wood in here is the gantry and this contraption in here is the carriage. Let's say that I need to move the gantry up and down. Then I just need to move the motors in opposite directions and it goes up and down. And if I want to move the carriage to the sides, I just need to move the motors in the same direction. And combining those movements, I can move this anywhere I want. You will find more information in a very lengthy comment that someone has already written down below. And now we just need to make it 10 times bigger and fit it in here. First, we are going to start with the gantry while I print lots of parts. And for that, we need to cut this 30 by 30 by 2 mm square tube to length. And I also need to cut this HGR15 rail that will go on top of the extrusion. Next, mark the extrusion. And now drill all the holes to 3.5 millimeters. And finally, tap to 4 millimeters. And this time, staying true to the weight savings of the Corex Y system, I will not use all the holes. I will only put screws every other hole. I've used 9 screws less, which is a total saving of 17 grams. Everything counts. The 732 grams of the aluminium profile count too, and the 1.5 kilos of the linear rail. Everything counts. And I also used screws that are the exact length that we need, which is a lot of savings too and we still need to make more holes to the extrusion, so it's going to be even lighter. And with these holes, this gantry is as light as it will ever be, because I need now to add these brackets in here that will allow me to bolt the gantry to the Y-axis bearing blocks, and also will hold the idlers, which go first. And a very important step that could have been missed. This one's ready, to the printer! It feels quite rigid from side to side, but another of the good things about Corex Y is that the squareness of the gantry doesn't come from the gantry itself, but from the arrangement of the belts. Now I need to install two sets of idlers on each corner, and this is kind of an afterthought because I was going to do a different design, so I need to swap this corner and this corner in here. And that's it, the two top back corners swapped, but that's not all because these ones are 10mm thicker than the other ones. So now this plane where this part sits is not flush with the ones at the bottom. And that's it, the four back corners are swapped, and that would be it if it wasn't because I also needed to move these holes outwards, which means that the two holes in the back aren't aligned with the two holes in the front. Those were a lot of parts and that was a lot of filament, but don't worry because I have now filament of the best quality in the right amount thanks to our new filament sponsor, Polymaker. Don't worry, of course, it's the right color, so let's install those idlers now.
and the idlers are in, and the next step are the motors. But first, I need to take care of something that cannot wait any longer. These resin pulleys that I used as a temporary solution a couple of videos ago are failing at an alarming rate. So I used one of PCB Way many services and made these custom aluminium pulleys with a very short neck, a keyway, they send them with the holes tapped and everything. So not only does PCB Way manufacture your PCBs, by the way, the four and six layer board prices have been lowered. Good to know. They also offer 3D printing in lots of materials and technologies. They also offer CNC machining, sheet metal fabrication, injection molding, and the process is easy and quick. Just choose the right process for your part, drop the file, choose a quantity, select between all the options for your part to be perfect, and get some awesome parts for your project. And the quality is top notch. And now that you have seen what PCBWay can do for my project, click the link on the description and take a look at what PCBWay can do for yours. And now let's take care of these motors. And that's it, one motor assembly complete. I don't have the screws in the 3D model yet and these holes are hitting on this screw here, so I will move them a little bit forward. These ones in here are the tensioning screws to give tension to the belt and these ones in here are the fastening screws to keep it locked in place. No smoke! I need to complete two separate paths for the belts. Each motor is at a different height and wherever there are sets of idlers, there is always two different heights, one for each belt. So let's get to it. I'm keeping this closed just to see what I have to do. So next step in my guesswork, because I'm still not truly really sure how it works, I will try to tension both belts and see what happens. The belts are now mostly tensioned. Before installing the belts, I did a test with this to see if the motors were spinning in the right direction when I sent the commands. So let's see if it moves. First, I'm going to try to move the gantry back and forth. Let's try to move now the carriage. A first try success was quite unexpected. Let's make it go faster. It makes a noise. Faster. This is going to be a loud machine. It 
guess I could try to go faster. I cannot press the button fast enough to make it move. This thing could knock you down if it hits you in the head. Oh my, I will try now to run a file. Not hotter than anything, but make it move more than 50 millimeters. I honestly don't think that I will be able to print this fast, but it's nice to have the speed. And well, I would subscribe if I were you because I wouldn't want to miss what's coming next. And that's it for this video. Thanks a lot to all my Patreons and members. Thank you. And now please go and make something!